Yo, 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 welcome Crypto World. It's Crypto Rocco here, and today we've got another very special video for you all. So, finally, we've got some green numbers. It's a breath of fresh air to see some green numbers after weeks and months of just reds, reds, dipping, market crashing. But can we actually relax? Is it actually a bounce and it's going to rally to 50,000 by end of the year, like people are saying? Or is it just a fake bounce there? Or is it going to dip lower and follow and uh, form a double bottom? In this video, we're going to find out. So what is the main reason for this market to bounce back? The market has bounced back violently. Most most coins are up massively. Um, Cardano, especially 35%. That was going off the radar slightly. But I actually send out a, a post on Twitter saying that it will come up because it was nearing to where it was like a year ago. It was a strong resistance level. So I knew Cardano was going to make a bounce back. But Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Litecoin, all the big ones have bounced back massively. So today's video, we're going to mainly talk about the G20 Summit. If you don't know what G20 Summit is, it's like the big countries the governments the central banks they all get together and it's like a uh, it's been going on from 19 uh, 1999 and it's a big deal so it, it has a massive effect on the market um normal stock market and it, it will have a, a effect on the crypto markets and the funny thing is when you type in g20 summit the, some of the key articles come up are all about cryptocurrency um so Yes, it has. Uh, this is the main reason why the market has bounced back so violently. So the main the about the Bitcoin price jumped about one thousand after uh, Carney, um, the Bank of England governor, go on Brit. Um, so Financial Stability Board Mark Carney uh, told that it does not pose risks currently. And the main reason is the market cap of cryptocurrency is not as big. I've I've written posts before saying, you know, is the market cap is very small to pose risks currently. So this is the main reason and they they're not they're not they're gonna ease on the regulations. So there's um people are speculating they're gonna go hard on Bitcoin. They're gonna have very strict laws. They could even uh, uh you know do what america did ban icos in england or they, they're gonna bring up a lot more regulations which will make it difficult for the growth of cryptocurrency um so this is a very positive news and one thing i will say regulations are good because there's loads of scammers out there for icos but we we need to help this new market need this new market needs money coming in this money coming in for icos there's going to be good technolo technologies out there i know most of them are a lot of them are, are bad but some of them are good and some great technology tech, great technological advancements are going to be made so we need to keep supporting this new new market um but regulations are needed so i think it'd be best if we can self regulate but i don't know what will happen whether we can do it we'll see in the next couple of months what we can do um, and if it goes out to like if it if the cryptocurrency market goes up massively and it poses a risk to governments and then um, i believe the governments will come back and put some regulations on understandably but it, it is letting the market grow you know we're letting us see if, see if we can sort out this strange world of internet of money so again, there's loads of articles on news BTC, no new regulations, kind of scaling down. Um, again, Carney on the eve of uh, G20. Again, just to um, say that I'm not saying that we're out of the woodworks yet. I'm not saying we're out of the bear market yet and, and that we're going to shoot up massively because it's still the start. They're going to have more meetings on Mondays and Tuesdays. I, I read it somewhere. I think it's going to be Tuesday, right? Government officials will meet Monday and Tuesday in part to talk about cryptocurrency. So there's going to be more news coming out. And I'm not saying we are out of the woodworks here. I actually think there might be a, a, another dip, but this is good news. So money starting to come into the market. Again, if you go on Coin CoinDesk, there's loads of uh, good articles. Uh, we missed all the bans, Twitter bans, Facebook bans, Google bans. This news have still, you know, made the markets go up. So it shows you the importance um, of this news coming out. Because even after all the bans, market is still going up. And one of the things I will talk about is the death cross. I, I try to avoid technical analysis, but I do do technical analysis myself. So I want to share some of the technical analysis that I do with you guys. Um. So one thing that few people are talking about a lot is the death cross, which is the crossing of the 50-day moving average, cutting the 200-day moving average. And that is meant to 
um, start a massive sell-off and it could bring the price down to as low as you know five thousand some people are saying two thousand three thousand um i don't think it will happen let's see what this guy say a minor rally to nine thousand cannot be ruled out in the near term i think it would be it's very likely but gains are likely to be capped off around the descending bearish uh, 10 week moving moving average agree with that and um, looking further ahead bitcoin looks to set for a drop at the weekly f again they're talking about a death cross i think it will drop but i don't think it will drop to as low as three grand four grand um i've bought some and taken some money out already of the markets just to let's see the see what the market does the 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 risk to reward of trading now doesn't make sense and like tony robbins and then great i mean tony robbins in his book i uh, can't remember what his book's called now i think it's unstoppable and um, he talks about some of the great minds in the financial markets and um, ray dalio and all the all the warren buffett they always look at the risk to reward and the risk to reward of trading now doesn't make sense um so yeah I, I would i would kind of hold back if you're wanting to trade currently um all that the japanese uh, mt gox i believe um all the sell-off that was going on um that seems to have finished so again that would allow the market to go up so it's another positive news and um, cnbc and um, these guys talk a lot about uh, cryptocurrencies i uh, sometimes uh, it's not as correct um, so I would not always listen to what they say. I mean, I, I'm always open to listening to more ideas and new ideas, but be careful and do your own judgments. But um, they're talking about the Tokyo whale as well. Um, Tom Lee, good old Tom Lee. Um, he's a great guy to follow on Twitter, guys. I follow him qu quite a lot. He's a massive supporter of Bitcoin. So this is my Twitter page, guys. I'll share like memes, trading tips, trading signals, some news, um, breaking news on cryptocurrency, and just some funny stuff on 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 Twitter. Um, I made a post about um the G20 summit as well. Um, I thought it was quite funny. Um, and there's also some positive news on Saudi Arabia. So yeah, I just post some random news, breaking news, and just share my thoughts on Twitter. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's Rockstar Crypto. And if you are not on Twitter, guys, Twitter is a great way to learn about cryptocurrency. And um, if you want, um, I'm on Twitter as well, Rockstar Crypto. I usually post up memes, news, even trading signals. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Rockstar Crypto. Um, you can follow me there. So Tommy Lee is saying Bitcoin will reach 91K by March 2020. So he's not saying he's going to reach that price this year. But according to him, it will reach 90k this year, potentially 100k by 220. So this is another brilliant news. Uh, my prediction was about 50k this end of this year. Again, that's just speculation, guys. Don't hold me to it. But it's good to see Tom, Tom Lee, Tommy Lee, Thomas Lee, good old friend Thomas Lee. He's predicting this for us. Um, just want to quit have a quick look at uh, the the price like you like I've shown before the price have gone up massively it just rose from uh, 7,000 and amidst all the news coming out that I just gone through it just bounced up massively and it's bounced up again is a big kind of resistance level and then um, I haven't got the chart ready I'm not I'm not um, ready to share all my trading view charts, but I think there's a moving average. There's a big resist resistance around here, um, about 9,000 around there. So I don't think it will smash through that. If it does, then it could rally up to um, a lot higher. But I think there might be another um, dip coming through. Um, again, I want to finish off. I don't want to finish off on a negative view, but the last article I've got for you is the is about the death cross, and it's on Bloomberg. You know, Bloomberg are a massive, massive news channel. I think they're massive in America, so it's, it's scary. Some of the things that they say. I'm gonna play this slightly. So basically what that means is it's 50 day moving average is hovering down near its uh, 200 day moving average. So this is a breach that we haven't seen since 2015 and it's getting technical analysts spooked that maybe Bitcoin has further to fall than we've even seen this week. Yeah, the chart six one five right there showing you how close we are getting to that level. So what happens? Ax decide that they don't want to pay attention to this. But if you do want to go for a more technical analysis approach, you could see that as a very bearish sign. Since it's around eight thousand eight five uh, ten. Right? Yeah, right now. So that that would still be a very long way to slide. It depends how much you want to read into these bearish signals. 
but there have been some developments recently, more regulatory scrutiny in the cryptocurrency space, for example, that have gotten some kind of, some investors spooked. Exactly, I was going to say. Given yeah, she just talked about Bitcoin crashing down to uh, 2,800 level. I'm not too sure about that, you know, because CNBC and Bloomberg, sometimes they speculate a lot um, and they're usually anti-cryptocurrency and Bitcoin to some extent, you know. I mean, I don't want to speculate. I want to give people a fair chance and I don't like judging people, but the, that news article, I wasn't as fan. They have got a point about Death Cross and I think there might be a sell-off. You know, a lot of people are scared about it, so people might take profits, especially because the market has bounced back after so long. People might be booking in some profits, so I don't think it's a massive bull run yet. But going down to 2,800, I'm not too sure. Um, I mean, I'll let you, I've, I've given you guys a good... Um, overview of the news but there's so many articles i advise you to go and do your own research but this is just my research of what i've found and just give you guys a quick overview and i've looked at both the positives and the negative this is something that i'd like to do on my channel um but yes i'm not too sure about this prediction but i think it will have an effect it will dip but not not as low as that i'm gonna go with my good old friend tommy uh tom lee um i trust him more than than my friend on cn and bloomberg technology hopefully mr thomas lee on on twitter and then some of the other technical analysis and the people that support bitcoin um are correct more than what they are the analysis and um, but yeah just have a read of these articles guys these articles are great these are one of the best some of the best articles i found on the on the uh, g20 summit news and cryptocurrency and i've mainly talked about bitcoin but bitcoin is the main driver of other coins and if you follow me i always talk about how the market works if bitcoin goes up uh, all the old coins and the big other coins uh, go up so I've, I've just talked about bitcoin but i feel like bitcoin will rally first and then ethereum litecoin ripple will follow um, and then there might be a boom of altcoin again this is these are just speculation guys if there's some good news about some altcoins they might bounce as well um these are just kind of speculation what i think um bitcoin dominance around 44 percent. i think about 45 to 50 percent is uh, at the moment is going to be where the bitcoin domination is so i think that's a decent level where it's at i think it might go up slightly but there's there might be a bounce of ethereum litecoin and ripple and the and the altcoin markets soon um so it was just a quick analysis, guys, of Bitcoin and Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple and, and the cryptocurrency markets. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, guys, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Uh, subscribing to this channel means a lot to me and um, I can bring the best content. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the more say, likes and follows I have. So uh, thank you very much and I really appreciate your help. And I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. Um, my target is a thousand once i reach a thousand i'll be doing another litecoin giveaway so if you are interested please subscribe to this channel and leave uh, leave your comments below and leave your litecoin address and comment below and um, just questions on what you think where the market is and and the, well, I'll, I'll answer all the questions and what we think and i want to have a discussion around it so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and family and i will see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much